little terrible like this. <clears throat> Welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. NCAA College Football, week number 10. After nine weeks, we have only five undefeated teams. We have Alabama, Michigan, Clemson, Washington, Western Michigan. Yeah, apparently the first four are ranked one, two, four, like they should be, but Western Michigan is ranked 17th. They are behind five two loss teams. Trying to come up with a ranking scenario that makes sense, that is better than the current system. I'm having a hard time with that. Um, I, I still believe that if you're undefeated and you beat everybody in your schedule, you should be ranked top five. One through five. If there's only five teams, you should be fifth. Obviously, Western Michigan has a lower um, RPI or whatever the hell they call it now. Strength of schedule, then RPI, I think RPI is college. Strength of schedule, then obviously Alabama, Clemson. If you beat the people in front of you, strength of schedule shouldn't matter. Anyway, we'll get to week 10 here. We have kicking off number 17, Western Michigan Broncos at 8-0 versus the Ball State Cardinals at 4-4. Four four. Michigan, Western Michigan is favored by 18 and a half. I have been winning and covering. Um, doing this video a little earlier than normal. I'm not have the over-unders. So I'm just going to do against the spread and straight up picks. Uh, next we have 12th ranked Oklahoma Sooners at 6-2 versus the Iowa Cyclones. Iowa State Cyclones at 1-7. Oklahoma is favored by 20 on the road. I have them winning and covering. UCLA Bruins 3-5 versus 21st ranked Colorado Buffalo 6-2. Colorado favored by 12 at home. Winning and covering. San Jose State Spartans at 3-6 versus the 24th ranked Boise State Broncos at 7-1. Boise State favored by 28 and a half at home. I have Boise State winning. San Jose State covering the 28 and a half. Uh, next we have the 5th ranked Louisville Cardinals at 7-1 versus the 4-4 Boston College Eagles. Louisville favored by 25 on the road. I have Louisville winning. Boston College covering the 25. 7th ranked Texas A&M Aggies at 7-1 versus the Mississippi State Bulldogs at 3-5. Texas A&M favored by 14 on the road, winning and covering. 8th ranked Wisconsin Badgers at 6-2 versus the Northwestern Wildcats at 4-4. Wisconsin five, favored by 5.5 on the road, I have them winning and covering. The Vanderbilt Commodores 4-4 four four versus the 11th ranked Auburn Tigers at 6 and 2. Auburn's favored by 24 and a half on at home. I have Auburn winning, but I have Vandy covering the 24 and a half. The Yellow, uh, Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets at 5 and 3 versus the 18th ranked North Carolina Tar Heels at 6 and 2. North Carolina Tar Heels favored by 10 and a half at home. I have them winning, but I have Georgia Tech covering the 10 and a half. The Maryland Turpins. 5-3 versus the second ranked undefeated 8-0 Michigan Wolverines. I have uh, Michigan favored by 30 at home. I have them winning, but I have Maryland covering the 30. Syracuse 4-4 four four versus the third ranked Clemson Tigers at 8-0. Clemson favored by 26 at home. I have them winning and covering. The 10th ranked Florida Gators at 6-1 versus the Arkansas Razorbacks at 5-3. Florida favored by 3.5. On the road, I have been winning and covering. And a note, as everyone's heard by now, November 18th is when the LSU Florida game has been rescheduled. Uh, it's been rescheduled for LSU. Florida was supposed to play pl pl uh, Presbyterian. So I decided to kind of look into it a little bit because I and I talked about buying out this game. LSU was supposed to play South Alabama. But what they ever how they got out of these games, LSU and Florida, to redo to redo the schedule matchup. Now Presbyterian will be playing South Alabama. I looked at Conference USA and then the FCS Big South, and neither of these two teams are involved in their conference t uh, title. I mean, they're both pretty pretty down in the conference, so it's not going to affect anything beyond this. But the one thing that it will affect, LSU and Florida will have one less game than everyone else. 
Is that going to help him or is that going to hurt him? Only time will tell on that. Next we have the TCU Horned Frogs at 4-4 four four versus the 13th ranked Baylor Bears at 6-1. Baylor favored by 10 at home. Uh, they'll win any covering. 22nd ranked Oklahoma State Cowboys 6-2 versus the Kansas State Wildcats 5-3. The extra line is K-State by 2.5 at home. Uh, I'm taking the Cowboys. I think they can go into Kansas State and be able to be into uh, and beat them. So I'm giving the 2.5 to Oklahoma. So I got them winning and covering at 2.5. 23rd ranked Virginia Tech Hogies at 6-2 versus the Duke Blue Devils at 3-5. Virginia Tech favored by 11 on the road, winning and covering. Arizona Wildcats 2-6 versus the 25th ranked Washington State Cougars at 6-2. Washington State favored by 15.5 at home, winning and covering. The Kansas Jayhawks at 1-7 versus the 14th ranked West Virginia Mountaineers 6-1. West Virginia favorite at 34 and a half at home. I have them winning and covering. Next, the 19th ranked Florida State Seminoles at 5 and 3 versus North Carolina State Wolfpack 4 and 4. Um, Florida State is favored by 7 on the road. I have them winning and covering. I wouldn't be overly shocked if the uh, Wolfpack was able to get a victory here. Um, obviously, Florida State with three losses, one of their worst seasons in, history, in recent history. So, I'm still picking Florida State, have them covering the 7, but don't be shocked if the Wolfpack is able to pull this out. Or it's a 50 point blowout by Florida State. Iowa Hawkeyes 5 and 3 versus 20th ranked Penn State in the Lions at 6 and 2. Um, Penn State's favored by 5.5 at home, I've been winning and covering. Number 1 ranked Alabama Crimson Tide at 8 and 2 versus the 15th ranked LSU Tigers at 5 and 2. Alabama only favored by a touchdown in Death Valley. Interesting. I have Alabama going into the Death Valley, covering that touchdown, and winning the game. Next right, we have the ninth ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers at 7 1 versus the sixth ranked Ohio State Buckeyes at 7 1. Ohio State favorite at 13 and a half at home. I have Ohio State winning at home, but I have Nebraska covering at 13 and a half. I think it'll be a little closer than that. Fourth ranked Washington Huskies at 8 0 versus the California Golden Bears at 4 4. Washington favored by 15 and a half on the road. I have the Huskies winning and covering the 15 and a half. So that will wrap up the NCAA week number 10. Uh, we have five undefeated teams. Will those five teams still be undefeated when week 10 closes? We will see. Happy Halloween, everyone. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great night. Have an American.